Hey, what's going on guys? It's 5150 Soldier here, and today I am bringing you some more Black Ops 2 gameplay. And today I'm bringing you a gameplay 100 plus on the map, uh, not Yemen, I almost said Yemen, um, on the map Turbine. And I, th I think this gameplay is pretty beast, because I get on a 103 kill streak, which is pretty damn insane if you ask me. So, um, yeah, 103 kill streak. That's definitely the highest kill streak I think I'll ever get, or um, you know, unless I play this map again and I get it against new here players. But uh, yeah, I don't think the I don't think I'll get a higher kill streak in in Black Ops 2. Maybe if I get better at the game, I will. But I did get kind of lucky against these players because they were pretty terrible. And a little tip about this map is I I like to use SMGs on it now. And, um, yeah, I don't know, it just seems like it's better, this is a better rushing map than I thought it was, and it works out a lot better when you're rushing, because generally people use assault rifles and snipers and stuff, so you will have the edge on them if you, uh, you know, get in their face and, is, and are rushing and stuff, so that's a little tip about this map, is I like to use SMGs on it now, and I just like to stay on the right side of the map, or the left side if you're spawning uh, C, <clears throat> because... I think that side's the best side to not get killed from, to be honest. Around where that building that I'm shooting at, uh, I like to stay around there because it seems like a lot of people go left side and it's easier just to pick them off from the right. So, um, I am using the PDW, so I apologize about that. But hopefully you can, you can enjoy its sexy look because I do have the diamond camo on it. Uh, it looks pretty badass on the PDW. <clears throat> and this uh, this game I was playing solo, so I thought this hundred plus was pretty good. Cause in the last game that I uploaded, I was playing with a couple people. Even though I know that's not that big of a deal. Personally, I think it's better just to run with a couple people in uh, Black Ops Two, just for the fact that um, everyone triple caps or steals your kills and like all that stuff. You run in a full party, so I think it's better in this game if you. Uh, if you just yeah, if you just run with like two to three friends, that's like the perfect amount, because uh, then the eater kills don't all get stolen, and uh, your team doesn't try to triple cap because you know they want their score streaks or whatever it is that you guys are trying to get. So yeah, just a little bit about what I think about parties and how you guys should play if you are gonna run in a party. Um, but anyways, I don't really have much to talk about, so I'm just gonna kind of ramble on about the gameplay. Uh, I thought this gameplay is pretty damn spectacular. Uh, I'm gonna try to upload hundred a hundred back to back hundred pluses or no, I already did back to back hundred pluses. I'm gonna try to upload consistent hundred pluses. That's what I meant to say. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see how long I can go without uploading a hundred plus. Um, so yeah, hopefully it, I can upload a hundred plus for quite a while. But as of right now, I don't have another hundred plus to upload so I'm gonna have to get some gameplay for you guys cuz I think I'm getting better at this game so um, hopefully I can get some more consistent gameplays I've been noticing since my KD is going up I've been going against full parties and people that have like 600 score per minute and just insane like insane people that are like really good and it's really been hard for me to get gameplays Usually I'll have to have my friend who has a lower uh, score per minute or something like that to find matches, but it's even still, it's, people still join. Um, I think when people when you search for a lobby, it'll put you into a lobby that's bad, but I think it knows that there's another person in the lobby that has a higher score per minute, and people with higher score per minutes will still join our lobby and stuff, so um, yeah, I don't think that really will work, but... Um, hopefully I can find like some noobs like these kids. These kids were pretty bad and this could have been such a better, so much of a better gameplay. And I know that everyone says it and I just want to point out that I did end up overlapping my swarm. So that, that's pretty bad. I ended up overlapping it and I died a couple, like one or two off my swarm because I had got my load star in the first round and then I died off my swarm. So definitely, definitely could have been a better gameplay. And right here's where I overlap my swarm which sucks because I should have called them my swarm first then Lodestar but Lodestar ended up going really ham so uh, yeah it just kind of <laughs> overlapped itself and it kind of screwed up the gameplay but whatever still a good game nevertheless and I will take it but anyways guys this commentary is pretty much wrapping up here so um, please I've been really grinding out for these gameplays so if you could leave a like rating 
that would be fantastic because it is really it's not easy for me to get these gameplays it might be easy for uh some other people to get them but for me to get them is just it's doesn't come easy for me and i have to really grind out and find the newbie newbie lobbies i can't just drop i don't i honestly don't understand how people drop 100 pluses like every other game because there's some pretty douchebaggy people here um in the in the call of duty community so if you did enjoy this uh gameplay please leave a thumbs up i'm gonna leave this commentary a little bit short so yeah i hope you guys have a great day and i will see you guys later peace out